guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe so you can become a part of the family and be around for all sorts of transformations DIYs kind of like this one I am so excited for today's video today we are going to be going over the how to and before and after for my filing cabinet transformation I found one of my like dream filing cabinets that I would really 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 want for my office space. My office is white black and has gold accents everywhere um, when it's my space. You know right now it's my husband's because of COVID but <laughs> when it is mine it's gorgeous and this filing cabinet that I saw online would have fit perfectly in here and I loved it so much but it was I think the lowest I saw it ever go was like 180 something for being on sale. I will put a screenshot of that um, in the video here because that was like the filing cabinet I wanted but there was no way I was going to pay close to $200 for that. So I decided to go thrifting. It took me a long time to find a filing cabinet that I liked enough to pick it up from the thrift store but one day I was just out shopping with David and we found this one and we knew we needed to get it. It was very 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 rough at first. It had scratches, rust on it, the hardware did not match completely. It had stickers on it. It just needed some love. But the best part about this was it was only $6. We didn't go on a sale day or anything. They just had this filing cabinet for $6 and we scooped it up, knew it would be perfect. But to make it perfect, it took a little bit of elbow grease. So to start the process of cleaning it up, I took a little like dish scrub sponge that was a little bit rough and just some basic cleaner. I started just spraying it and wiping it down, scrubbing it, getting the rust chunks that were peeling off completely off, getting the scuff marks out, everything like that. It was pretty easy to clean. I just did the tops and sides and everything like that. And after it was clean, I went through and started removing the hardware. I just had to take a little plastic insert off the back of the door part and then take off the hardware from that. I did have to google how to get all of the hardware out and I ended up having to use um, a wrench instead of a screwdriver because they were so tightly put together but I ended up getting everything off and then I went through and scrubbed down the hardware also. I knew to make this transformation incredible I wanted to spray paint the hardware and update it so I decided to go with a gold color but before I did that I primed it. This is just a primer that I had from a previous project. It's whatever I had, um, but it was for metal surfaces, so it actually did work perfectly for this. I just put all the pieces in a box and then gave them a quick priming coat. While that coat was drying, I decided to start painting the filing cabinet. I just took some simple Ultra Cover Rust-Oleum two times paint and primer black gloss spray paint. I gave everything a quick little spray over and it ended up covering pretty well but I, I did do multiple coats throughout this process. It did help dramatically that the filing cabinet was already black so I was just really doing a final touch up layer over scuff marks and rust spots. After the priming coat dried on the hardware I went through and sprayed it with a rust-oleum metallic gold bright shiny finish spray paint. I will say that the final product of this did not match the lid on the spray paint as much as I thought. I thought I was going to get a really metallic gold shiny look and I mean it's metallic but it's very faded so you know but I think it did end up looking great. I will say that I probably should have sanded the hardware a little bit more. I had a little mishap with the sandpaper that I was using, so I won't even get into that, but I should have gone through and actually like really sanded those down better because the coat of gold, I had to do so many coats of gold for it to even like start to stick and it would have helped dramatically if I would have sanded them. But I figured you don't use the hardware on a filing cabinet as much as you do like a door handle. Just for some of the hardware, I did go through and use a coat of Rust-Oleum Universal Clear Durable Top Coat in dead flat. That did kind of dull the metallic -y, but it was not metallic -y to begin with. I had this laying around, so I just decided to try it. I don't know if this would be needed or not, 
but I just did a coat because why not? After all of the hardware had dried, I just put it back onto the drawers and I decided to spruce up this project just a little bit more. One of the big things that I wanted to add to this filing cabinet was legs. So I went on Amazon. I will link these legs in my Amazon shop down below if you guys are interested, but I just got wood. Uh, I searched for wood unfinished legs. I think these were three or four inches tall. They came as a bundle pack and it was only like I think $16.99 for all four, so it was pretty good. Even though I said that I wanted unfinished ones and they said that they were unfinished wood uh, legs, they came and they had like a glossy coat on them, so I just took some sandpaper, roughed them down a little bit, and brought them down to the actual wood. I set them up in the Amazon box and got them ready to be spray painted. And then I just went through with a couple different coats of the same gold that I used on the hardware. After this, I tilted the filing cabinet over onto its back so that I could drill holes into the bottom of it for the leg inserts to go in. It would have made my job a heck of a lot easier if I would have started by using the metal, like made for metal drill bits that I already had and I didn't know. But I started with wood and then concrete and then I just wasn't paying attention, but it would have been so much easier and this project would have taken so much less time if I would have just gone straight to um, what I knew I needed. But <laughs> I ended up drilling these holes. Most of the legs screwed in no problem, but on my first hole that I did, it was like my tester and the hole was too big for the leg to go in. So I ended up taking one of the little plastic covers that the leg came with and then I got a little bolt from Home Depot. I had to use the plastic cover and the bolt for this because the screw part coming out of the leg was too long and the bolt that I got from Home Depot, again, I didn't do as much research as I needed to do, but it had a little like plastic lining on the top of it so it couldn't screw all the way on. It just stopped at the top and I needed it to be longer so that's why I had to use the plastic. But after all the legs were on, that was pretty much it. That was the whole project. It was super easy. The only reason that it took me more than a day or two was because I had to wait for the legs to get in the mail from Amazon. So I ordered the legs after I had started the hardware and the spray painting of the black. And so it just took a couple days of me like just waiting for the legs to get there. <laughs> but that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I hope that this shows that it's so easy to do something like this. You can do something like this. And it's so nice and rewarding. Know that I spent $6 on the filing cabinet, $8 in total on spray paint, $16.99 on the legs. Like, that's such a cheap project. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!